This is Lesson 7 Homework for Module 7 of Grade 2. Write your name first so you don't forget it. I'm just going to write Bobby here. And we just have to solve some word problems with coins. Owen has four dimes, three nickels, and 16 pennies. How much money does he have? Now, this is you got to draw for all these read the question which we just did draw some kind of a picture it could be a tape diagram it could be a number bond it, it has to be labeled uh, or you can just draw the coins and sometimes drawing the coins can save you a lot of uh, a lot of work uh, I'm going to show you a lot of different ways that you can do these uh, any one of them you could use for all the problems for different kinds of pictures so here we have Owen. He's got four dimes. I'm just for this one. I'm just going to draw the picture. Four dimes. Dimes are tens. Ten, 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 ten. And if I'm drawing these too fast for you, these are the three nickels. Nickels are five. Uh, and you need you can just pause the video and draw them yourself and and catch up and then play it again. One, two, and sixteen pennies. I draw five group rows to make them easier to count. You'll see what I mean. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and these are all pennies, all ones. How much money does he have? So we just have to count it all. In dimes, we have 10, 20, 30, 40. Nickels, we have 5, 10, 15. And of course, in the pennies, are, they're one, so they're just 16. Now you could just add all these numbers vertically or use um, any mental method to add these and write down the, but if you do that, you gotta at least write down this equation, 40 plus 15 plus 16, and write down that what it equals. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use the coins to count it. That's 40, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, there's five and another 10, that's 60. There's another 10, that's 70, and one more, 71. He has 71 cents. Eli found one quarter, one dime, and two pennies in his desk, and 16 pennies and two dimes in his backpack. How much money does he have in all? So Eli's desk, I'm just gonna draw a D. What does he have in his desk? He has a dime. He has a quarter. Quarters are 25s. And he has two pennies. Those are ones. And in his uh, backpack, he has 16 pennies and two dimes. So B for backpack. Two dimes. Dimes are tens. And 16 pennies. The 16 pennies. You don't have to draw all 16 pennies like we did up here for that. But here's another way to draw a lot of pennies at once. Just make another little box here and write 16 in there and just count that as a 16. In this case, it's going to be okay because we're just adding it to dimes. So we see 16, 26, 36. That's 36 cents in his backpack. And then in his desk, we have 25, 35. 36, 37, 37 cents. And you could add these 36 plus 37 equals. And if in your way to solve it, you could use um, a lot of different methods to solve this. We could use a vertical method 36, 37, like this. Add your always add the one digits first. 6 plus 7, that's 13. And we have three, two threes is six, and that's seven, so 73 cents. Eli has 73 cents. Number three, Carrie had two dimes, a quarter, and 11 pennies in her pocket. Then she bought a soft pretzel for 35 cents. How much money does Carrie have left? So she had this much in her pocket, and then she buys a soft pretzel for, the, for 35 cents. So that's 35 cents. She's spending it. She's not going to have it anymore. She has to pay it. 
So we're going to have to, this is what she has, and this is what we're going to, we're going to have to subtract it because she's going to have less after she buys it, uh, buys the pretzel. So we're going to see what she has left. I'm going to draw a tape diagram for this. And this is how much money she has. That's what she had, right? And then this is what she spent, she bought the pretzel for. And this is going to be how much, let's see, we'll say pretzel. That's how much the pretzel costs. And this is going to be L. That's how much she has left. That's what we're going to try and figure out. So how much does she have? The two dimes, the quarter, and 11 pennies. Now we could, we could kind of put that together here. Uh, two dimes. The quarter is 25 and 11 pennies, and I can just do that. Instead of drawing all 11 pennies, I can just draw that uh, in her pocket. So what? how much is this? We've got 25, that's 11 cents, right? Not two pennies, it's 11 cents. So we have 25, 35, 45. This is a 10 and a one. So 45, 55, 56. So she has, she has 56 cents to start out with. And the pretzel, it tells us the pretzel is 35 cents. So we have to figure out 56 minus 35. And uh, you could solve this with vertical subtraction. 56 minus 35. You might be able to just look at it and figure using the digits to figure this out because you don't have to unbundle anything. You have enough ones. So... 6 minus 5 is 1, 5 minus 2 tens. Uh, we know that, so that's 21. Carrie has 21 cents left. So that's, you could use a tape diagram to solve some of these. Ethan had 67 cents. He gave one quarter and six pennies to his sister. How much money does he have left? So this is going to be more, he's giving money away, so he's going to have less than he started with. Uh, we know he starts with 67 cents. This is what he gives to his sister. This is Ethan's, well, this is what he ate, this is what he had. That's what he gives to his sister, S, and this is what he's going to have left, L. Uh, so let's see. How much did he give to his sister? He gave her a quarter and six pennies. Now you could just look at this and say a quarter is 25, and six pennies is six, and just write kind of write it up here, 25 plus six. And that's going to be 31. So we know that he gave his sister 31. He started with 67, so we have to figure out some subtraction. 67 minus 31 and figure out what that equals. Maybe we could use uh, we could use the vertical method for that. It's going to be pretty easy because we're not going to have we have enough ones that we can just we could just look at the digits and maybe even do this mentally. Seven minus one, six ones left, and then six tens minus three tens, three tens left. It's going to be 36. So Ethan, and I can write the 36 up here and just finish that equation. Ethan has 36 cents left. Number five, we have four dimes and three nickels in Susan's piggy bank. Nevaeh has 17 pennies and three nickels in her piggy bank. What is the total value of the money in both piggy banks? So uh, I could do this. I could either draw the money. I could draw the money. I could draw piggy banks here and say that's Susan's S and that's Nevaeh's N. And I could draw all the coins and just count them all. I could do that. I could also draw a tape diagram and say this is Susan's piggy bank. And this is, because we're going to add them, we're going to count them all. That's Nevaeh's piggy bank. Um, 
we could look this up. We're just adding dimes and nickels. So we might be able to do that mentally. Four dimes is going to be 40 cents. Three nickels is going to be 5, 10, 15. That's 15 cents. Right, 40 plus 15. That's going to be 55 cents. Nevaeh has 17 pennies and three nickels in her piggy bank. So we know what 17 pennies is. That's 17 cents. The three nickels is 5, 10, 15. So we're adding 17 plus 15 to figure out Nevaeh's. That's going to be... Right, that's the three nickels. And then I just, you can just draw this 17. And you can see now you have the coins to look at. That's 10 and five more. So we have 17, 27, and five more, 32. Nervea has 32 cents in hers. And then we just figure out that's our picture. And we can add these together mentally because we, we don't even have to regroup anything. Uh, if we look at the ones digits, we're adding a five and a two. And we look at our tens digits, a five and a three, 87. So, there is a total of 87 cents. Oops. 87 cents in the two banks. And number six, we have Tyson. He had one quarter, four dimes, four nickels, and five pennies. He gave, so he has money. He gave money to his cousin. How much money does he have left? So he's going to give money away. He's going to have less than he started with. So this is going to be another, we need a smaller amount, that means we're going to be subtracting. So uh, let's start with what he had. And now here's just, and here's a way that you can do it. You could use the tape diagram, you could, uh, like we used before, you could use the number bond like we used before. Um, this one, I am going to use, I'm just going to draw the money and cross it out. Just to give an example of that. So Tyson had a quarter, that's 25 cents. Four dimes, one, two, three, four dimes, those are tens. Four nickels, those are fives. Oop, yeah, four nickels, four dimes, five pennies. You wanna be careful when you're drawing these coins that you draw what you're supposed to draw. Five pennies, four nickels, four dimes, one quarter. Okay. He gave 57 cents to his cousin. How much money? So we got to cross out 57 cents from this. So we're going to cross out 57 cents. It's easiest to do, probably just to just cross out the tens and count as we go. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40. Two fives is 50. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 55, if I cross that out, I'll have 60, so, but I have now is 55, 56, 57, so I've crossed out 57 cents now, and I can just count what's left, 25, 26, 27, there's going to be 28, oh, don't forget that, forget that nickel, so it's 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, there's going to be 33 cents left, so and we'll just write the equation for that. We started with, but you know what? I don't even know how much we started with because I didn't have to know. But our picture shows that. But what do we do? We added 25 plus 5 plus 3, and it equaled 33. Tyson had 33 cents left.